Hello, I'm Angie C, and this is A Hug in a Better Place. The book today is Working Stiff by Judy Melanick and T.J. Mitchell, who, by the way, are married and husband, well, thus husband and wife, which I find very sweet. So it is a labor of love, which does reflect because it does get very personal. You do get to know a little bit about how the family life balances out with the work life. Because this is the story of Judy's experience as a medical examiner and her experiences of doing autopsies and a little bit of life before that and how everything led up to that and their child, which all was just very nice. and. Beside that, there was the more career part of it, the actual medical examiner story, which I guess this is what this book is really all about. It's the recollection of that chapter of her life, her memoir of that part. And so it does get very real. It will get morbid. and there will be blood, bone, skin, all that stuff, so if you're a little squeamish or not comfortable with that, I definitely don't recommend this book. And But I, I, I personally found it very fascinating because the human body does intrigue me. I'm curious about how all this medical stuff works. That, if you can hear, is sound of my dog drinking water, so there will be noises. I apologize. Continuing on. This book, as I said, sometimes it does get so real with the medical part of it that it's almost surreal, especially for someone like me who has no medical background and never studied anatomy or anything. But on the other hand, I could tell that Judy and TJ tried to make it accessible. Because TJ isn't in the medical field as far as I know. So I can tell that they did try to make it accessible for those of us who aren't as knowledgeable about anatomy and medical stuff. And I appreciated that and enjoyed it more, I think. This was a very fascinating reading for me because, once again, the anatomy was really cool. There's just so much detail. It's all about the details, I feel like. She really focused on getting all the facts right and really provided a really nice behind the scenes version of the stories and the shows that you see and they portray these things, but it's not quite like that. And this book shows just how different it is. And the part that I wish was in the book more was the, I wanted more closure from the cases because that's how this book is organized. It's organized by the way, types of death essentially. So for example, the homicide or suicide or accidents and for, I would have just, I'm just very curious about how some of the more criminally related deaths wrapped up in regards to the case, but I know that even Judy doesn't know. So it's just my curious self wanting more closure on that front. But overall, I really enjoyed this one. I liked how we got a sense of how work and family balanced out, the parts with her little son in it, his innocence really balanced out or really amplified the other side of things, the blood, the goriness, especially during the 9-11 attacks when she was working through those bodies and it was a good write-up essentially of what it was all like and the thing that really got 
to you or me was the numbers when she told the, when she wrote the numbers of the 911 and the body parts and it, it's all the things this book is all the things that you don't quite think about and that's what I really loved about it that's what I fell into and so yeah I definitely do recommend this there are some personal belief things that I don't quite agree with in regards to mental illness as someone who suffers from it but I also do see her perspective and approaches of it all and yeah I, I liked this one this was a this was something different something very interesting though so I think this is reading books like this is why I realize and find out here and there that I know a little bit about a lot of things is because I read random books like this and this is a good one so as long as you're not squeamish or not triggered by blood and all that medical stuff and then I think this one's worth a read. Judy and TJ did good on this one. So, yeah. That's all I have to say about this. Thank you for listening to another episode of A Hug in a Better Place, and I will talk to you next time. Bye now.